Let's talk about breast cancer in men. Wow, this is actually a trending situation, which we didn't see 20 or 30 years ago, but more and more men are getting breast cancer. In fact, one out of 100 breast cancer cases diagnosed in the US involve men. So let's just first talk about the risk factors. Now, if a man is taking a medication involving estrogen, as in certain treatments for the prostate, for example, that can increase your risk. Then you have radiation from x-rays or CAT scans involving the breast tissue. That can increase your risk of getting breast cancer. In fact, I was an x-ray tech before I was a chiropractor, and I used to do portable x-rays in nursing homes. Did I ever use a lead shield? Unfortunately not. So that would be one example of exposure to radiation. Then you have cirrhosis of the liver, which is advanced scar tissue of your liver. When the liver has cirrhosis, it loses its function and your testosterone or androgens actually go down and the estrogen levels go up. So that would be another cause of high levels of estrogen. A healthy liver is needed to detoxify excess amounts of estrogen. And also alcohol can increase your levels of estrogen. So for those of you that drink a lot of beer, that could increase your risk. Now, being obese or overweight in general, especially if you have breast tissue, can increase your risk because the fatty tissue is kind of like a magnet for estrogen. Then we get plastic chemicals. I've done videos about that. And then we get to the topic on soy. So if you're consuming, knowingly or unknowingly, non-certified organic soy, you're being exposed to hexane, which is a neurotoxin not to mention other things in soy that can increase your estrogen levels. So you have to be careful because you're going to see this in vegetarian foods, the veggie patties and the fake meats. You're also going to see it in soy protein isolates and soy protein concentrates, which are also in a lot of protein bars and diet shakes. You also have to be careful of the textured vegetable protein which is a pretty funky tasting uh, product. And sometimes they use this in these uh, fake chicken finger type foods, which actually taste pretty good when you initially taste them, but then you're going to feel extremely bloated. I accidentally ate these one time and I was like, wow, these are really good. And then I found out what they were and it created a serious digestive issue for me. So one of the protective foods uh, against estrogen are the cruciferous vegetables. Make sure you include these on a regular basis, as well as avoiding soy products and some of the other things that can actually increase your estrogen levels. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.